welcome welcome back to all my current subscribers if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the lakeisha inspires family so um i'm coming to you guys today december 12th 2020 to share some breaking headlines with you guys and this is all the news that they don't want us to see so the first headline is christians fight back against restrictions Plan to fill churches for Christmas. So now it's not only in the UK um, where it's been approved. It's also in Canada. RFK Jr. urges uh, them to slow down with the whole approval process. Facebook again censors image of Santa kneeling before baby Jesus as violent content. And you guys see how um, they're saying that it's sensitive content and warning you before you look at the picture. Like, really? Come on now. This is so ridiculous. This world is so evil. And it's sad that so many don't even realize it. And I didn't even realize it, honestly, until not too long ago, like, within this last year or so like how wicked this place is and how evil this place is and like I just I had I was clueless and I had no idea and I was one of those people that believed everything that um the people in power said he tells black Americans to trust it because it was created by an African woman hmm he looks sneaky to me, like him and Bill Gates. I, just, I don't even know. I don't. MAGA descends on D.C. Millions of patriots take action. And this happens right just before the approval process. Senate passes stopgap spending bill to avoid government shutdown. The Marshall Report, U.S. and China are preparing for war. He's already planning executive orders on gun control. I'll see it. The Great Reset is here. And I believe it's going to be a lot of people that is, they're not, they're not about to be on this. They're not about to be with it at all. Mainstream media with it. And that's why I say, like, you know, I don't watch mainstream media. I don't, they, I was led to start watching news, like, at the beginning of this year, or maybe the end of 2019. However, when I was called to go ahead and start my YouTube channel and just get started, I pretty much had a whole different idea in mind. However, God said, this is what you're going to do, and this is how I want you to do that. And so, um, I guess I was called to be a watch woman, and, you know, um, that's when I started even, like, really paying attention to the news. And once I started learning about, like, how these, these end-time events were really going, going to go down, Netanyahu vows to be first, and then the Israelis to follow suits if they want, if they want a passport. Like what? Well, it's like this. <laughs> Look, this is this is. I like when I'm searching these news topics, y'all, and these articles. I be like, wow. to what I be coming across, like, and I believe this is like the third one that I've seen so far, um, where they're not letting you, um, travel without a digital ID. And I believe that's part of ID 2020. And, um, like I say all the time, guys, um, I'm just sharing these articles, go do your own research uh, ask the Lord, take the stuff to the Lord after you do your research or whatever. 
and or before you do your research, take it to the Lord and ask, you know, um, ask for your own confirmations and your own direction and guidance. You know, I'm just trying to keep you guys up to date on the breaking news, not only where you're residing at right now, but news across the world that um, most likely is not getting out to the world like it's supposed to. Greece is setting itself up for another financial crisis. Amazon using social distancing technology to warn staffers who get too close. Like, these, this stuff is weird. Like, this world, y'all, it is passing away. And I, it's already passed away at this point. And I don't see how people don't, don't, I don't see it. They don't see it. The elites may have overplayed their hand. And this is what they said in 2017. And I know people say things about um, CNN, but it was like brought to my mind yesterday that maybe so many people don't like them because they're speaking truth. And the um, people, the... Um, you know, the government or whoever, they don't like the fact that they be dropping the bombshells when they be dropping the bombshells. And they, you know, when they investigate, they, I guess they investigate and they, they're all in the business. So I don't know. I just thought about it yesterday and I was like, well, maybe that's why, you know, people don't like CNN. But... <clears throat> I don't know it like I don't see how people could dislike CNN but love MSM. Abortion execute post well I don't know. But uh this is a picture of a Christmas tree top with tools that they use at the abortion clinics. And this one right here, I was like, wow, like, this person, like, you guys, go, if you don't, go read this article. Go make sure you read this article. I'm showing you guys where you can go find these articles. Please go read them. And like I said, do your own research and take this stuff to the Lord. They're still defunding um, police departments. Lawlessness is going to definitely increase. And just, it's going to get bad out here, guys. And Jesus is the only one who can save us from what's coming upon this earth. The Hanukkah story, not even close to being about light and joy. Like evil, just evil everywhere. Evilness. Christians don't need to be in churches. Like what? See, there go, there go right there. Remember what I told you earlier, Monday or Tuesday, Monday is the 14th, the day of the solar eclipse, the day of the electoral votes. It's a big day. It's uh, the middle of the Feast of Dedication, which is known as Hanukkah. And that is, and Jesus Christ appeared at this feast, according to scripture. I'm trying to think of the... Um, Yep, according to scripture, John ten twenty two, at that time the feast of dedication took place at Jerusalem. It was winter. Jesus is coming. Woo! Jesus is coming. Woo! Yes, he is. He's gonna save us. Woo! He's gonna save us. Woo! Yes, he is. 
y'all. I'm just like every day I'm like, is today going to be it? Because, you know, the Lord works suddenly. And when this happened, it's going to happen so fast that we're not going to even be able to literally blink our eyes. It's going to be like that fast. Like, I believe it's going to be super quick and very suddenly people are going to people are going to be going about their normal days their normal activities and all of a sudden boom it's going to happen just like that just like that they've announced another historic middle east peace deal with israel they're taking people's careers because people don't want to bow down to their agenda World perfectly suited for the Antichrist to come. I mean, like, we don't even need this. Like, and I've watched so much and seen so much about this whole thing. I know for a fact that this is <laughs> it's ushering in the B system. It's like, it's ushering in the B system and this with other things will change who you are i believe that this has something to do with the mark of the beast whether people say whatever they say about it i don't watch too many videos read articles and I feel very heavily and so, like, for sure, like, I feel so sure that this is it. This is it. I don't care what nobody else say. Like, this is it. So there you guys have it. If you feel led by Holy Spirit to support my channel, um, you can do so via GoFundMe, PayPal, or Cash App, as I do not receive any compensation whatsoever from YouTube for my videos. Links are in the description box below this video. And as always, I love you guys. And remember that God loves you more. The ABC is the salvation. It's in the description box below this video as well. If you have not made the decision to accept Jesus Christ into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior, please make the decision to do so now. We are in the final seconds, the final, literal final seconds before Jesus Christ comes back for current day believers. If you die without Jesus Christ in your heart or if you're left behind and for any reason whatsoever, you get the mark of the beast you will be cast into the lake of fire. Heaven is real and hell is real. God does not send people to hell. People send themselves to hell by not believing in the one he sent in his name, his one and only son, Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father or goes to heaven without Jesus Christ. You determine your eternity. You determine your final destination. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. I love you and shalom.